Well, welcome back. Um, it's the May bank holiday and um, I've actually come somewhere a bit different this time. I didn't fancy uh, battling the uh, the rest of the um, crowds for the car parts in the Lake District. So I've, I've come across the M6 and I've come to the, uh, the Owl Guilds, which is a place I've often wanted to come. Um, and revisit. I have been here when I was a kid, but a long time ago. Um, I've actually been joined by a friend. I don't know if you can see him up there. Um, Peter Dixon. He's uh, he got in touch with me last night to see if I were heading out anywhere, and I don't think he fancied going out to the lakes either. So we, we agreed to meet up. So we're currently going up the uh, the valley towards because it's it's pretty grim out on the tops it's low wind but there's a lot of cloud up there so we've decided to take quite a low route in up one of the valleys um, we're going to go straight up straight up Yarl side um, to grab one of the Dales 30s and then once we've been up Yarl side drop down and the aim is to camp on the calf um, but it's a loose plan we've just come out really just to get out and have a bit of a chat really so down at Boulderdale and we're currently heading up this uh, this valley so, there were a couple of cars parked down there but as yet I haven't seen anybody else up here so result so I'll bring you back when we're further up towards Yarl side So we're just reaching the valley head now and uh, we're going up that middle one up there which is Yarl side get that one out of the way first from the sounds of it it's supposed to be the most brutal one <laughs> take it easy anyway lovely walk up though, nice path in I don't know if you can see that behind me. It's a pull up. I've just come off Yarl, Yarl side um, and we're just heading up, uh, up the calf now so that's the valley we came up earlier um, I don't know if you can pick out the, the, the bridle way that we came up and we just rejoined that so we went up that, the side of that slope up there to the top of Yarl side and we just came down the front of that round and just cut up here across um, just having five minutes with Peter. Say hello, Peter. Hiya. <laughs> it's me, he's waiting for me, really. Nah. <laughs> it's come out quite nice now. 17 degrees, you say? Yeah, 17 degrees. I mean, all these all these hills were absolutely covered in, in clag earlier. 17.7. Low, low cloud, and it looks absolutely beautiful down there now. Sound. 
don't know the names of these fells here. Do you know these? One of them over here, I think it's called Wild Boar. Oh, yeah, we're, we're at the top end. I don't, I don't know these fells that well. Top end of the hills, aren't we? So it will be Wild Boar over that way. Malastang will be over kind of that way, I think. Mist up there, the cloud coming off the tops up there. And bring you for bring you back further up. That's colders. Um, I think that's Ingleborough nestled in right on the uh, on the um, horizon. Out across the uh, down towards Blackpool, Markham Bay. Across to the uh, the fells of the Lake District, which you can't probably see on this, because they're all shrouded in uh, a bit of mist, and that's looking back towards the uh, the trig point. Oh, I don't know if it'll pick it up. It's you can see Peter. We're in the uh, we're up on we're camped up just near the trig up uh, up on the calf. So I've left. Um, I've just left, left Peter um, up there and I'm just having a walk across to Bram something tall just looked at the map I've forgotten and I'm just going to walk across to Calders because um, I think Calders is a Dale's 30 so I've only got four of them while I'm up here so it's been a, it's turned out an absolutely fantastic day, absolutely superb. Um, not too many people. I think we just got up to Trig, and it's probably the most people we've seen all day coming past. We've just got some some of the last stragglers. It's about um, time we It's twenty past five, so we've got. Quite a few uh, few hours of daylight, but the cloud just suddenly we, we came off the top of Yarl side earlier, and the cloud just suddenly um, it just lifted. Sun came out, temperature drove up. I think it's been not far off 20, 20 degrees at one point. The winds really dropped. There were a breeze earlier, but well, that's quite dropped a fair bit now. Um, so yeah, all the hills have quietened off. It's just, it is nice up here, it's lovely. That's Yarl side across there. So we came off the top, we came up there, off to the top and then down off that shoulder. Um, it's plumbing steep up there, so it pull. But you can see over the, to the top of the uh, Yorkshire Dales down there. Look, it's both, 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 both. Across. Yeah, so I'm just, like I said, just going up to Calders. I ain't done much filming today, I've done bits. And, um, I'm always a bit self conscious in front of other people. I'm just 
just gonna it's gonna be an up and out i'm just doing this it's just a, like a 20 minute walk up to here so 20 minutes out i'll take a few pictures and 20 minutes back and i'll get something to eat so nice not walking with a pack Colders, yeah. Wow, what a view. Down into Yorkshire. Bowfell, I think. So we've got, I think, I think that's, uh, I think it's Penny again. Wernside, Ingleborough. So there's your three peaks. looking east so I think um, Wild Bothell should be over there somewhere looking out to sea got Blackpool down there somewhere Markham Bay and then over to the Lake District again yeah uh, nice to get a different perspective of hills been in the dales and looked north looked at these these hills so uh, yeah right there we go I think <coughs> colders I'll have a steady walk back up to where we're uh, pitched up at the calf now get a bit of food in a bit Right, I've just put my uh, kettle on for some tea. Um, I'm in the uh, the cricket. Uh, bit of a mess. Need to get tidied up. Peter's in his uh, X Mid Two Pro, uh, the DCF one. Um, it's absolutely stunning up here now. Really mild. I've got a t-shirt under this uh, wind, wind, uh, wind shell. Really still. I think it's to fall off as well during the night. So, so that's my setup. I'm in the lighter sleeping bag and the uh, the um, the bivy bag. The light of sleeping bag that's just on me just slung on me warm gear in the corner there a bit of a mess but i'll be putting that on soon so yeah fantastic day finished off by nettle curry which i've had before it's quite tight, tasty that a bit coconutty so I've broken out the light stuff, so I've got the uh, the alcohol stove back out. Speedster stove. Had some cracking views there. Uh, my tent views, uh, you probably can't see it out there. That's Wild Boar Fell straight across there. So 
It's a bit awkward in this. I need to actually pitch looking out that way, but problem is it's got an open front and the path comes over the back here. So if there's any runners, we've had one or two people come past, they can see straight in here. Which I don't really want to have first thing in the morning. So yeah, uh, I'm going to get some, I'm just waiting for me, the water to boil and uh, get some food and relax. Have a chat with Peter, chew the fat a bit. I'll bring you back later on if there's anything interesting. It's just lovely up here, absolutely stunning. About um, ten past nine. Sunset's gone, been and gone. Um, just as it set, um, quite a lot of mist rolled in. So we're hoping uh, that's going to clear for the morning. So kettle's on. I'm going to have a hot chocolate. Listen to a bit of radio and uh, turn in. Eventually, probably fall asleep. It's a really good day, I've really enjoyed today. It's been great. A bit different. Nice to get to a new area. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sunrise, a bit cloudy, there was some nice cloud, a bit of inversion, temperature inversion. And there's a massive bank of cloud rolled in. So you can't see, can't see any wild boar fell. <coughs> to the north, just up it's clear. I hope it's clear for us to walk out for some views. So. Skylights are loud. Tossed and turned a bit last night. Didn't have a, didn't have a fantastic night. Right, brew. Well, just as I uh, put my kettle on, um, right last night, a massive bank of cloud rolled in. And I just thought, oh, hey, here we go. Yeah. Last night, everything was just completely obliterated by cloud. So I went to bed. But um, within space of it, come it rolling in and 
the kettle boiling. <coughs> it all just sank into inversions into the valleys. Don't think we're going to pick that up. Some fantastic cloud. The skylights are in fine voice this morning. That nature's uh, alarm clock. And then over towards the Lake District. It looks completely. Uh, Up to the north, that's all like Dufton way. So I imagine Dufton sort of that way, I mean, sort of cross fellow bit further over. So that's. Six degrees. It's lovely up here, so peaceful. The only thing you can hear is, uh, and you can kind of hear it all the time. It's just a, like a low hum of the. Uh, you can just see the M6 down there. It's not bad, but you can always just hear that low, real low hum from here anyway. I said we couldn't hear it over like gal sideway. So that's today's destination. I'm gonna come up here and then drop down on this and then over down into the valley back to Bowderdale. Beautiful. Just gonna just gonna enjoy that now. <laughs> 